All right, um, we learned in the last video that percentiles divide the data into 100 equal groups. But sometimes that's too many groups. And so um, it's nice to have quartiles, which divides the data into four equal groups or quarters. Deciles, which divides it into 10 equal groups. And uh, we'll also talk about interquartile range and what you can use that for in determining what an outlier uh, what outliers are in your data. Outliers are extremely high or extremely low data values when compared to everything else. Uh, a lot of times this is how they find people who cheat on tests. Uh, suddenly we have the person that gets a 98 while the rest of the class got a 60 on the same test. So um, outliers can be very important. Alright, so here's a set of data. So to find quartiles, there's going to be three of them. Um, quartile 1, quartile 2, and quartile 3. Quartile 2, your second quarter of your data, is your median. You know, you think about that, that's 50 cents. It's, it's uh, halfway between a dollar there. So there's eight pieces of data here, so you count up four and you count back four. And so the median would be, or quartile 2, would be 14, because that's right in between the two. So you add 13 plus 15 divided by 2. To find quartile 1, you just divide, you just look at, you divide your, all your data in half. So think about folding a piece of paper in half. Quartile 1 is going to be the median of this group of data. And so there's four pieces now, and so you count into and back to and so between 6 and 12 is quartile 1, which right in between those two would be 9. Then quartile 3, again, you look at the back half of your data for quartile 3. We want to know the middle of that data. So you count up to back to, so right in between 18 and 22, and so that would be 20. And so that's how you split the data into, your, into quarters. So anything below a 14 is in the lower half of your data. Anything above 14 is in the upper half of your data. Anything below a 9 is in the first quarter of your data. And anything above 20 is in the last quarter of your data. So you can, so can kind of use that uh, uh, to help you out. Poof, getting late. So deciles, I'm not going to... I'm not going to show you how to do deciles because I've already made a video on that. Deciles, you're going to want to go back to the percentile video and, and figure that out. But there, there's D1, D2, D3, D4, um, dot, 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 to D9. So... You know, sorry, kind of, I'm getting lazy. It's getting late. I'm sorry. But anyway, you keep going until you get to decile 9. And again, this is de the first, that's 10% of the data has occurred. 20% of the data has occurred. 30% of the data has occurred at this point. 40% on down the line to 90%. And then, you know, eventually you get to 100% of your data. So it's really like an OGIVE. Uh, cumulative frequency, and so we're just breaking it into 10% uh, increments is all. But again, if you want to know how to do that, go back to the percentile rank video. Finally, we want to calculate outliers. So we already uh, broke this data into quartiles, because you need to do that to find outliers. And so there they are. went too far. So... Quartile 1 is 9, and quartile 3 is 20. That's kind of the important ones. Quartile 9, quartile 1 is 9, quartile 3 is 20. So 9 falls right here, 20 falls right here. Okay, so to find outliers, you find what's called your interquartile range, or IQR. And your interquartile range is simply taking Q3 minus Q1. 
So in our case, 20 minus 9. Okay. So once you have that, and uh, once you have that, you take that number, which is 11, times 1.5. And you get 16 and a half, which I knew that, but again, it's getting late. So 16.5, and you're going to subtra subtract that from your quartile 1 and add that to quartile 3. And anything above or below that is going to be an outlier. Well, if you take 9 minus 16.5, you end up with a negative number, which isn't even possible in our values. So we have no outliers that are low. But if you take 20 plus 16.5, now we've got 36.5. Um, look for any values above that. And believe it or not, we have one, 50. So 50 is an outlier in this data. You can kind of see that just by looking at the data. But you need to have a mathematical process for determining this. This is scientific. We need to be able to measure things. You don't want to just be, uh, I think, uh, it would be objective. We're not, uh, we're not here to guess. And just because I feel that 50 is bigger, it is bigger. No, we need to have a process for that. What's the... What's the steps to go through to find an outlier? And this is it. So you, your first step is find your two quartiles for quartile 1 and quartile 3, which we already did. Find your interquartile range by subtracting them. And you, we got 11 in our case. Then multiply that IQR times 1.5. Add it to Q3. Subtract it from Q1 and look for extreme values on either side of those numbers. In our case, we had a negative value, which means that nothing happened to the left of that. And 36.5 um, was, uh, was clear to the right. Well, we had one value past that, which was 50. So 50 is an outlier for this data, and hopefully that helps you find outliers. So good luck. I hope this helps. Um, it may not because my brain's kind of turning into mush right now. But uh, good luck and I'll see you next time.